All right, if you want to follow along, you can find this photo in the description of the video and just do the exactly same thing as I do. Right, so let's start with importing this photo in this file and create a new layer and fill this with 50% gray. So I can start with doing a little bit of brushing here. Now with the burn tool, we can make some areas darker. So first let's do some highlights. This is going to be real quick because I don't want to miss too much with this photo. Just a bit on this right side because I want to create lighting on the left side. So I'm going to brush a bit here, 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 just a bit here, here, not much. Just to get a bit more details. Now switch to midtones and drop this to, let's say around 20% and do the same. Now when it gets red like this, you want to avoid that. So don't brush in these red spots. That means it's brushed too much. And this last shadows. Bit here, 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 here. Right, so you can see the difference. Get a bit darker, but it's too red, so I'm gonna drop the opacity. Alright, let's make sure the background is also a bit darker. So I'm gonna brush a bit of the mid-tones here also. So we have all our focus on this line here. Like that. Don't need these guidelines. Just get rid of this light in the background. Like that. All right, let's create a curse layer and then we can make this like really dark and drop it like that. And let's press some areas lighter. We're going to get lighting from somewhere here. So I want to make sure these areas will get lighter. Maybe a bit of this main here. Like that. Something like this. I think this will look pretty cool when we have a final result. Like that. Let's also make sure a bit of these mains here so it doesn't get too dark on the bottom all right i think this is fine now let's drop the light or oh, sorry the color of everything so we get a bit more mysterious colors and let's create a new layer and fill this with 50 percent gray again and change this to overlay and let's select the dodge tool here and let's lighten up these eyes so we get all this emotion in this photo like that Let's also do the other one just a bit lighter don't do it too much or else it's gonna look like like a fake lion all right let's create a light source on the left side so i'm just gonna make a dot here on the top side something yellowish here so i can make sure we have a light source somewhere so it looks a bit more real than just a dark spot and stretched out like that just simple light source there all right let's also do some curves here and this time we're gonna make the highlights lighter so something a bit like this press ctrl i on the mask of it and bring it back on some parts here to make it just a bit lighter so it doesn't get all too dark all right next thing to do is to duplicate all these layers by pressing command alt shift e so i have a duplicated version then make a smart object and go to filter camera raw filter and here we can do some final adjustments to make this look better so for this you would need a normal or a decent screen to see this better so i have a pretty good screen so i can see this pretty good now to make these final adjustments let's make this lighter a bit darker like that maybe drop the texture and decrease the clarity so we get a bit of this art effect and let's bring this to the right Let's see let's get rid of these colors i don't want to have too much colors it's a bit dark now let's leave that and go down increase the sharpening and now here you can do some color changes to get some nice beautiful colors let's see let's move this a bit to the left saturation also for the yellows let's also get rid of that and let's leave the other ones let's give it a bit of a vignette to get rid of these colors or this lighting on the on the edges and here we can eventually even change the calibration so let's see let's move this like that and this one a bit to the left press ok and now you can see the difference it looks a lot different than before now the last thing to do is to add some curves bring this up and bring this a bit to the left or let's do mid tones here a bit like that now go to color lookup and select the LUT here tree strip bring the opacity down to around 20% and boom you're done with this painting
Of course, you can make it better by adding particles or maybe smoke or something like that. But that's just a step after this to make it better. But you have the basic idea in just a couple of minutes. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the next one.